Hey guys, this is Jordan Winter and you're watching No Free Lunches. Today we're here in Lawrence, Kansas, trying to find the best vegetarian menus. Hope you're hungry. We're here at Burger Stand on the 800 block of Massachusetts, home of award-winning burgers, delicious sauces, and one of the most robust vegetarian menus in town. Hey Bo, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in today. So when most people hear burger, they think beef. Um, what was the decision that Burger Stand made to be inclusive of the vegetarian community? Food isn't just beef and chicken. You know, like burgers traditionally are thought of as that way, but um, you know, food and cuisine is based upon everything. We definitely are trying to be mindful of the fact that people have different, um, you know, allergies or lifestyle choices as far as what they prefer to eat um, for whatever reason. Um, but for us, it's really just, it's, it kind of helps us push ourselves to be better with food in general. Yeah, it seems like a really good way to be creative with the cuisine. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about the evolution of the veggie burgers over time? Yeah, we only really started with a couple on the menu, and uh, it was something at the time, you know, that would have been 10 years ago now that was kind of really just emerging onto um, the scene as far as something people were seeking. They were used to seeing on other menus, you know, everywhere had at least one like veggie burger, or, like vegetable burger sort of option. But um, we found that, um, you know, being in beef country, there still were a lot of people who were in search of something that was plant-based for a lot of the reasons that we kind of, you know, already talked about. Um, you know, that has exploded into we always challenge ourselves to have a vegetarian special. Uh, we've gone from one to two to five vegetarian items on our menu now. Um, you know, we have the Impossible Burger in, which is, if you're not sure what the Impossible Burger is, go look it up. Uh, very, very cool product. And so we recently just started working with Farm to Market uh, out of Kansas City. It's where we get our regular buns and they are a brioche egg bun. But we just now started getting from them a red potato bun that is completely vegetarian. Um, so we still are in search for a really, really great local uh, gluten-free option, but we have finally found a good local um, veggie vegan option. And it comes by default on all of our vegetarian items. Being able to find that locally has been really, really huge because it tastes way better. So our product is better and it's cheaper for the customer. So that's been very nice. Well, that's awesome. And actually all this talk about burgers is making me really hungry. So I think it's time for us to go grab a bite to eat. Awesome. Um, can I please do a spicy shiitake burger, do a black bean burger, a garbo burger as well. And we'll top that off with some small orders of the Cajun and truffle fries. The food here at Burger Stand is amazing, but now it's time to get lost in the sauce. As you can see, there's a variety of flavors and spices for all your different palates, and their selection of sauces are perfect for topping your burgers or dipping your fries. Now, one of my favorites is the spicy Casbah barbecue. It's pretty versatile, it goes well on whatever you're eating, and one of the benefits to all the sauces is that they're made in-house, so you know they're gonna be fresh. Now, while there are seven different sauces, I know it's tempting to get as many sauce cups as you want, but use your cups sparingly. The flavors really come out in Burger Stand's food, so odds are you probably won't need much sauce. Now, with all this food, where am I even supposed to start? I guess we'll start with the black bean burger, if I can fit this whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> So this burger has a lot of great layers to it. It's based off this black bean patty that's made in-house. It's got a bed of greens, pepper jack cheese, and a poblano salsa. So one of the things I like most about this burger is the consistency of the black bean patty because even though it's a staple of a vegetarian diet, a lot of times it's hard to get right. This one has a perfect amount of moisture that has those full black beans in there. It's balanced out with the rest of the emulsifiers. The poblano salsa has a really bright flavor, and since it's also made in-house, you know it's going to be fresh. 
It has a really good interplay with the rest of the patty, and it makes for the tastiest black bean burger in town. Like most other restaurants, Burger Stand comes out with new specials on about a weekly basis, and as a veg head myself, I'm always happy to come in and see that they have at least one vegetarian special available. Now this is the spicy shiitake burger. It's based on this spicy shiitake patty, habanero crema, bed of mixed greens, and avocado. It makes for the spiciest vegetarian option on their menu. Let's try this bad boy out. Now, like a lot of people, I have a personal aversion to mushrooms, but the flavor in this actually isn't too strong. And especially with the crema and the avocado and even the texture of the patty, it really mellows out for a good taste. Now, while this is a very spicy burger, it's not as hot as you can get. If you want a little more spice, you can always order a side of fire jam from the kitchen. What I'm holding now is the Garbo Burger. Comes with a classic garbanzo bean patty, white Vermont cheddar, a citrus garlic aioli, tomato, and a bed of mixed greens. Where do I even start? <laughs> now, as a vegetarian myself, garbanzo beans are a staple of my diet, especially as a protein. And whenever I eat this burger, it just reminds me of the stuff that I cook at home. Now, if you're a vegetarian looking for a lunch or a dinner on a Monday night, come to Burger Stand because this Garbo patty is amazing. You can come in for just $5 and get this Garbo patty on any of the other burgers that are on the non-vegetarian menu. As an award-winning burger restaurant, you can come into the Casbah and expect it to be busy pretty much any time of day. But if you're worried about seating availability, there's the upstairs, the main floor, and downstairs in the beer hall, so you shouldn't have any problems finding a seat. Now what's a burger without a french fry? Burger and fries are a staple of any American diet, and right here we have Cajun and truffle fries. While the Cajun fries are simply tossed in a spicy seasoning, the truffle fries go next level. They're actually tossed in a truffle butter and then coated in Parmesan cheese. Now with a little more kick than your average french fry, these Cajun fries have a little bit of spice, but they're not too hot. These truffle fries are super rich, and they're decadent enough to be a meal on their own. Calorie-wise, they probably are, but if you pair them with a the garlic Parmesan aioli, which is my favorite sauce, we'll be in heaven. Mm -hmm. I knew I was not gonna be able to finish all of this. Your girl is gonna need a box. And speaking of boxes, Burger Stand actually has a great call-in service. So if you wanna take your food to go, if you're in a rush, feel free to call in and they'll have it ready for you by the time you get here. Burger Stand is also open late night. So whether you're craving a burger at 11 a.m. or 12.45 a.m., the kitchen closes at one. Burger Stand has got you covered for all of your munchy needs. To watch the rest of the series on Lawrence's Vegetarian Friendly Restaurants, head over to nofreelunches.co, where I cover Burrito King, Culinaria, and Ramen Bowls. Stay up to date by following us on Instagram and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching.